everybody. Welcome to this episode of A Run Through. Uh, today I'm going to be covering Undermine. Uh, it's been out for a while in Early Access, but it came out on 1.0 today. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it briefly because I think it's a really good game, and I think they also handled Early Access super well, and so I just wanted to cover a little bit about it. Um, so it's basically a, a top-down roguelike dungeon crawler. Uh, it's in the same sense as most of these. It's You know, you sort of start a run, grab as much stuff as you can, get as many items as you can, make it as far as you can, and when you die... Uh, you'll take a certain set amount of gold back. You can increase that later on if you get certain upgrades and stuff like that. But generally speaking, that's the ebb and flow of the game is you're kind of going through a run, going back out, you know, in, in and in. Um, so the difference with this one, I guess, is there's going to be... Um, you get a... It's sort of like... Uh, was it Rogue Legacy where you would get a different family member every time? This time you have a different miner. I don't. It doesn't change any stats or anything. They're all exactly the same. Uh, they just look different. Um, and then you also have this familiar with you. So you have a certain system for that. You can get, I think there's ten different ones I want to say. Um, and they all do different things. This one shoots fireballs. Some collect gold. Uh, if you do uh, a couple other things. Uh, the big portion of this too, this game has a lot of secrets in it. So you'll notice like walls that'll be shiny and stuff like that. So you'll drop bombs there and uh, break through and, and kind of get to that. There's, it's a, it's a pretty simple game overall. There's not, there's only jump, throw, and swing your weapon, that's it. So all the other mechanics kind of come in when you get different items and stuff like that. But the general um, attack and movement stuff is all very simple, but it's, it's done effectively. Uh, there's a lot of times in this game where I really wished we had a dodge move, um, but the more I started to understand how the game works, uh, it, I think it plays really well without it. Um, as you'll see on the screen now, there's these thing, these green creatures coming around. So that's the other major mechanic is these things called pilfers. So whenever gold comes out, they'll uh, attack and uh, try and take the gold. They don't do any damage, but um, they'll take your gold away from you. So your best bet is to try and get them or swing at them or push them away or whatever. Um, there is a certain curse in the game that you can get that will make them do damage, but that's you know all up to chance. You may not get that. Um, other than that, though, there's not a whole lot else I can say. Um, I think it doesn't show as well as it plays, I think. I think the game is definitely more enjoyable to actually play than it is to look at. Because um, it's very simple, but I think overall it's really effective at what it does. Uh, and I think just in generally speaking, it's just a really solid roguelike title. Um, I will comment to say, uh, with their early access, they did the thing that uh, a lot of games I wish did. Um, and it's sort of in the same frame as like Dead Cells and stuff like that, where uh, the general mechanics and and the game uh, world itself is most is pretty much already built up to an, a certain point, and everything is is uh, mechanically speaking, it's very solid. The foundation is all there. Um, so the game itself, the updates were just really like tweaking a few things, but just adding content every update, really more or less. Uh, and I think that's a really good way to handle early access, just because. Uh, it's that's really the two courts it falls into. It's either games that are done this way or games where it's like they made a character and they sort of have a world and that's it and everything else just feels very empty and unfleshed out. It's sort of like it's like a lot of the Kickstarter projects that now don't really happen um, because they all just seem like a hollow promise. Uh, that's sort of they've kind of changed early access instead. Um, but there's a, uh, that being said, there's a ton of great games that have come out of Early Access and still a ton more that are in there. Um, obviously, if you've been following my series on Grounded, that's one of them, uh, which I believe is Xbox's first Early Access game, uh, which is pretty interesting. Although technically, <laughs> uh, Fortnite is still Early Access, which I think is hilarious. But um, at any rate, yeah, I think they handled it really well, uh, and they were really communicative, and they did a really good job with that. And I think uh, they put out a really polished game. Um, and... So, yeah, it's uh, $20. It's available on Steam. I think it might be on PS4 also. I could be completely wrong about that. I would love to see it on the Switch, though. That is, this would be the perfect game for the Switch. Um, although you could say that about basically every game. <laughs> if you could fit it on the Switch, it'd be good on the Switch. Um, but, yeah, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I think you should pick it up. It's a really good game. So, have a good one, guys. <laughs>